On this day, 200 years ago, the Patriotic Army led by Simón Bolívar achieved the final victory against Spanish colonial forces in the Battle of Carabobo, thus sealing the independence of Venezuela. Telesur correspondent Madeleine Garcia has been following some of the historical roots of the Venezuelan Liberation Army in its revolutionary struggle against Spain. Venezuela, Venezuela gets ready to celebrate its bicentennial year of independence. Every corner in the Carabobo battlefield is full of stories that transcend the Venezuelan borders. This is how we remember them. On June 24, 1821, at 3 a.m., the day of the decisive battle for the independence of Venezuela began. At the time, Venezuela was part of the Viceroyalty of Colombia. This battle was the first step towards a great Latin American unity. The project of Venezuelan revolutionary Francisco de Miranda that Simón Bolívar sought to realize his entire life. After 10 years of bloody war, the longest in America, the one-time chance to end 300 years of Spanish domination had come up. The Battle of Carabobo was a moment within the deliberation process sparked by the signing of an act of independence from Spain on July 5. It took Bolivar 10 years to cement that promise with six southern fighters as his flanks. The headquarters of the Spanish army, under the command of Captain General Miguel de la Torre, was located right here when I'm standing. And then, as a symbol of that victory, the Arch of Triumph was built in 1921. That day, the Royalist barracks burned in flames after the Patriotic Army arrived to this place after the 45 minutes battle that took place in another part of the Carabobo Savannah, very close to here. So you can feel the energy of that moment. When the first division led by General Jose Antonio Paez arrived, who with his men bled a decisive stroke that very day, at this time spot, Simon Bolivar rewarded Paez's bravery by promoting him to the rank of General-in-Chief. The Spanish army retreated then to the fortress of Puerto Cabello, which represented the last Spanish stronghold in Venezuela. Puerto Cabello was Venezuela's main port due to its location on the Caribbean coast. It was a strategic point for the Spanish who had there all their arsenals and logistics. 200 years have passed since those events I'm referring to. It is easily said, but it cost Venezuela half its population. And today, Venezuela celebrates its freedom, its resilience in the face of new warfare and interference from modern empires, an economic blockage and illegal sanctions imposed by the United States to suffocate the population, using hardships as a weapon of war to put an end to the revolutionary Bolivarian project initiated by Hugo Chávez Frías, who rescues the history and dignity of the people a post taken from Chavez by President Nicolás Maduro. A story that two centuries ago was the focal point for independence struggles of other nations in the continent and which repeats itself throughout the years. Behind me is the flame of the unknown soldier, the anonymous heroes like the rural workers and women who also took part in this heroic death. I'm Madeline Garcia, reporting from the Carabobo field. I will keep on telling this story.